You see them alongside highways, waiting for calamities to unfold. Tow truck drivers, often referred to as buzzards, vultures, not really spoken of highly until you need them. Today we're at All in One in Soweto, and we're here to meet with Bob Pat Siliza. We're gonna do lunch with him. Come with us. Man. Sweet man, easy, easy, cheese, easy, cheese, cheese. So we're gonna cheese, cheese. spend the day and see what you do. Maybe yeah. tow a car or something. Yeah, we can. Yeah, okay. because you know what? There's a lot of cars. Plenty of cars in South Africa. There's always a breakdown. Ah, so prepared. Yes, my. This is guy. the office for the day. Eh? Now's the office for the whole day, man. All right. What That's kind of truck is this exactly? Man? That's a Isuzu. So, I mean, this is a little bit different to, you know, a traditional tow truck, you know? Like, what does it mean? What makes this one particularly special? Ah, uh, because this one rolls back, it can tow anything, like your accident, crash, you know, cars that doesn't have wheels, anything we can tow, mm -hmm. because we're using hydraulic winches, that's it. So we can pull anything from there. It's a really nice truck. Does it have uh, a name or anything like that? Ah, uh, I call it my daily home, man, daily because home. I'm always in it, day, Night, evening, afternoons, every time. I'm always so that's I, like why the I call sound it my daily that. home. It's like my second house, you know. What do you usually do around lunchtime, man? What's that like? Ah, uh, lunchtime. It depends on the mood. I go buy some takeaways, you know. Well, we got a little downtime now, man. Is there somewhere close where we can? Yeah, maybe go there is. Work? There is plenty here. We can. Some money, Jani. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you never bring like a ski captain or anything? You usually, you uh, just get it. I do sometimes, but mm. you know, as days are not the same. It depends. Maybe sometimes I start the early shift. Mm. When I start my early shift, there's no time for me to say, Mama, yeah, this captain, come yeah. on, come. So I need to rush because yeah. remember, it's emergencies. Also, it's time that's why for this captain, I don't wait for it. Once the call comes in, we get it, we call it, all the information, we call the client, we're gone. How do you navigate getting to one of your clients? Uh, like most, how do you find the quickest route? Uh, it depends. We call the client. Mm. First of all, we need to know exactly the location where they got stuck. Okay. So when they give us the location, sometimes, you know, we're using this uh, WhatsApp mm. locations. Mm. They send the locations. Once they send it, I can open it and view where is it. So I know my routes. So I can see this one is a quicker one than this one. Now depends. tell the truth though. Mm. I know there's a lot of social companies. Yes. Do you guys ever race? There's a call. Yeah. Time is money. Time is money. It depends, you know, with... with, with Not with, obviously with, traditional racing, but yeah. you know, it's first come, first serve. First come, first serve, but it also depends. Uh, most of those things happen on the accidents. Mm. So when there's accidents, that's where they race now. Yeah. Like, to yeah. be first on the scene, so that you can get a better car that has insurance. Sure. For us, with the rollbacks trucks, we don't actually run for accidents mm. because we get calls from the insurances. So, you call so we please. Oh, so it it, it makes our lives easier so they can run because they are accident runners. Oh, that's why we call so them. That's why they're on the side of the road. Yeah, all the time. All so the they time. can't get any job without oh. running to the to the scenes. So sense. for us, I can park the truck under the tree and insurance can phone me. Take your time. I'll take my time, I'll go there. Me. Yeah. But the thing is obviously it depends where we're going. Yeah. yeah. If the client is on the side of the road, uh, we try our best to, to be as fast as we can. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very 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 much. Yeah. So you guys usually take an hour or just depending on how much time you have? Uh, with me, I don't actually don't have time. Mm. I don't have, it can be 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. If I have a call that I need to rush to, it's about 5, 10 minutes. Mm. Uh, so you were saying that pop is a bit dangerous because you don't want to fall asleep on Yeah, the hey, every time we chow the pop, my man, you just get lazy, that's it. And when you get lazy, you can't be lazy when you're busy driving. You, know? you, have to be you need to be alert and active then most of the time, so mm. yeah. Listen, man, you were telling me earlier you mm -hmm. had to go rescue a car that was in a flooded situation. Tell me a little bit about that, man. Oh, my guy. As they gave us a call, dispatchers, we went there. When I got there, I see the car is floating mm -hmm. top of the water. You see, like, it was heavy rain. So, on the side, I'm like, so, I'm like, I'm like, there's water that's flowing there. You don't know what's inside there, obviously. So, now, when it was flooding, now all the water from there, it came into the town. So now the car is floating. Now I must go and rescue that car. I don't even know what's inside there. Hey, my man, sometimes you're taking chances, eh? But that's unrisky, Yeah, man. we are harmed by you How deep was the water, man? Hey, my man, you know what happened? I had to take my shoes off. I had to take my trousers. And lucky enough, I had a short. So I had to walk inside the water cautiously. Because I don't know what I'm tramping there. I don't know where. Am I safe or what? Hey, but I see. Hey, I was scared, my man. Hey, like, you know. You're basically swimming, bro. How long did that whole process take you to get that car out of the water? Uh, it's like a recovery. It takes about, it depends. 
about a good 45 to an hour. What are, what are the um, other kind of safety measures someone in your line of work would take precautions for? Uh, precautions all the time, you see, especially with the winch. The mm -hmm. winch is very dangerous. This thing can snap you, this mm -hmm. thing can kill you. Yeah. Because if you don't know what you're doing, so... Steel you, cable, no? This is, yeah, it's a cable, but mm. it's a steel one. It's mm. called winch. winch yeah. So this thing is very, it's a hydraulic winch. The power that's in that thing, my man, yeah, this thing can pull a truck mm. from the ditch, out of the ditch. Yeah. So if you're not using it properly, according to the way you're supposed to be doing it, this thing can snap and cut you. So this is what we call towing now. Yeah. We're about to tow now to do the actual towing, yeah. what we spoken about earlier. Mm -hmm. So now this car has been involved in an accident. Mm -hmm. So it belongs to certain insurer. Mm -hmm. So we're taking it to a panel shop where they are approved to fix the vehicle. Ah. So we're going to load the vehicle. Me and my colleague here huh? will do the towing. So just watch. Take it away, sure. Yeah. You get worst case scenarios, man, where accident just happened now. Mm. And people are fighting for their lives mm -hmm. in the car and we are there to load the vehicle. So even if they don't make it, but them coming out of that vehicle in that state, and you have to go inside, because when you're loading a vehicle, there's no way scene, right? there's no way that you can load without going inside yeah. the car. Remember, after you load it, you need to secure it. The handbrake must be up, yeah. so all of those kind of, so you need to go inside the vehicle. So imagine now you're going there, there's some stains of blood, mm -hmm. like uh, it's trauma right. somewhere, but yeah. it depends on how you deal with it. Right. As people, you know, we deal, problems different ways so uh, I also got my ways of dealing with all these things. How do you de-stress and unwind man? So after, uh, after our shift today, how are you gonna yeah. I'm, I'm a person I'm a person who goes to church. Okay. I'm a pastor myself so mm. most of the time I pray every day. Mm. I pray and then just sit down. There's a time where if I'm in the house I just need time alone. Yeah. Just to to come down and who's a bit about what has happened, what I've seen mm. at that time of the day. So Days are not the same. Not all the time that you see those kind of things, but yeah, you do see. At least you're taking care of it. Yeah, so. yeah, I do. Let's I do. load up, man. All right, man. Let's go. Go to make a delivery, man. Yeah. What is some advice that you would give to somebody if they're in an accident? If you're involved in an accident and maybe you need to go to the hospital, first thing what you do is you phone your families, you tell them that I'm involved in an accident, and then somebody's taking my car. And then this is this, this is that. And then you have to sign the check sheet and the agreement that you are authorizing me to take your vehicle if it's not under insurance. But if there is insurance, the insurance are the ones going to tell you that, hey, take the car to a certain place. That makes sense. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's always good to have insurance. No, it's always imagine. good because yeah. it saves you from a lot of things like uh, you fighting for your car. Because if the car can be taken to a certain place, and there's charging storage. If it is not under insurance, yeah. then you have to pay for the storage. What would you say is some of the more like interesting things that you've um, encountered as a as a, as a tow truck operator? One time we got mugged. Really? Yeah. As we're busy loading, then they just come the thugs and they say, "Hey, one side, point us gunpoint, take phones, take all the gadgets that we have, all That's the things." Insane searching us, taking monies, like, you know. Thank goodness no one got hurt though. We do repossess cars. Yeah, I was going to actually ask. Yeah. Yeah. How does it work? Do you have keys already? How do you no. repossess a car? Remember now, uh, we, we are the towing services. Yeah, yeah. We are on our side. We get calls mm -hmm. because uh, those people from the bank, they've got people called tracers. Okay. People that traces those cars. Okay. So yeah. the tracer will be tracing your car after you dodging the bullet with them, you know. Yeah, yeah. So they'll yeah, find you. Yeah, yeah. So as soon as they find you, as soon as they know where you are, it is already a warrant issued for that car to be taken. Wow. So wherever they are, they got that warrant with them. So if you're refusing to give us the key, then that's when the tow truck comes, then they just load the vehicle. What are the best ways to, for me to tow my friend? You know when you tow roping or bar roping, uh, it's dangerous somewhere because Remember, it's, a, it's one car pulling the other car. Yeah. So if there's a mistake that will happen there, somewhere, somehow, hey, that means both cars are going to get damaged. After a long and arduous day, we make delivery of the car. This was a fairly straightforward pickup, but keep tow truck drivers in mind next time you have to deal with one. This job requires skill and patience.